People living in Ontario did get some optimistic news today. News that the spread of the virus may have peaked in that province. CBC's Mike Crawley joins us now from Queen's Park in Toronto with more on that. Hey, Mike. Hi, Vashi. So what does this new modeling say exactly about where the pandemic or the spread of the virus is at in Ontario and where it's headed? Well, Vashi, it's basically telling two slightly different stories. One is that Ontario is indeed succeeding at slowing the spread of COVID-19 in the broader community. But the other story is that it is not doing well at all in the long-term care setting. So look, the main good news here is that things are indeed better than projected uh, earlier this month. Ontario was looking at the possibility of 1,600 deaths uh, in April alone, and it looks like the death, is going, death rate is going to be lower than that. And the overall rate of cases uh, is definitely uh, tracking to be what the province was considering at one point to be its best case scenario. So that's that's the good news. Uh, the public, public health officials say that these are signs that the measures Ontario uh, have, have taken are working uh, and also that they need to be uh, continued. Uh, so the the issue on the long term care homes, though, is that, uh, you know, there are just so many deaths going on. COVID-19 is rampaging through these deaths, more than 300, uh, 360 deaths in long term care facilities. So uh, the province has brought in some new measures, uh, enhanced measures, they're calling it, and the officials are hoping that these are going to succeed in slowing down the rate of uh, the virus spreading in long term care. On that point, though, Mike, on, on long-term care, because you've done a lot of really uh, thorough reporting on this, it would be, a, I, I imagine there's a lag time between some of these measures being implemented and when we might start to see some uh, positive results in, in long-term care homes. In the meantime, as you said, the spread of it is still rampant there. Yeah, uh, more than 1,500 cases uh, among residents in long-term care, uh, and the province is only now testing uh, people who are uh, not symptomatic, uh, so doing a more widespread testing throughout uh, long-term care, and so we're likely to see uh, the rate of infection actually look like it's going up because they're going to be more uh, discovered because of the increase in the testing. And the, the concern, though, too, is that the rate of, at which people are dying in long-term care when they actually do get the infection. So uh, very clearly, the officials did say that they're uh, definitely uh, uh, concerned about what's going on in long-term care. And what does that mean, the two sort of stories that you presented us, the two uh, almost opposite uh, you know, outcomes, or at this point at least, what does that mean for social distancing, physical distancing measures that are intact? When might they be uh, loosened at all or relaxed? Or is there anything on that today from the Premier? Yeah, there's the, it's the big question that a lot of people are asking about in Ontario is, uh, you know, when are things going to change? When can the economy be opened up? And really, the, the short answer is uh, not yet. Uh, so uh, the Premier Ford, he's talking about what he calls a gradual, measured, uh, safe return uh, of the economy, reopening of the province. But he is not committing to when that would happen. Nothing's going to change. Uh, until we we see the curve to continue to flatten or or hopefully go down uh, until we see a change the number one priority is the health and well-being of this province and i'm not i'm not going to budge uh until that we we see that uh, now, the province's associate chief medical officer of health said uh, the restrictions are only going to be lifted in a gradual manner. That's Dr. Barbara Yaffe, and she said it's not like uh, switching off a, a light switch, that uh, these things have to be taken you know, one step at a time, and they have to be very carefully monitored to make sure that they're not contributing to some kind of a ramp up in the spread of the disease. Uh, but in trying to f get a better sense of when we might possibly start to see some some changes to the uh, restrictions. I spoke to uh, the epidemiologist uh, David Fisman from the University of Toronto, and he said, you know, his best look at the data seems to suggest that in about two weeks, Ontario ought to be firmly on the downward slope of the curve. And at that point in time, there could start to be some decisions made about reopening at least sectors of the economy and, and start to measure, uh, lift some of those measures. So, so interesting, Mike, that we, and we contrast that with Saskatchewan, let's say, and New Brunswick and BC even, all of which might be releasing this week some sort of uh, at least signal or guidelines for reopening the economy in the future. But as we, as the Prime Minister and others have said, it's a regional pandemic right now for sure. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate the update. Okay, you're welcome. The CBC's Mike Crawley from Queen's Park. 
Hi, I'm Vashi Capellos, host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.